Hey guys, so a quick video here today. I want to show you guys how I uh, put rubber bands on the bottom of my micro drones here to uh, attach my batteries. And I found this to be a pretty good way to do this. Uh, it keeps the batteries pretty secure. I don't really have too many injections and I actually prefer using rubber bands because yes, they do dry out and crack after a while, but they're really dirt cheap and you can buy a ton of these. Uh, like a huge bag for like a buck at the dollar store and I prefer doing that versus sticking uh, Velcro or anything kind of on, the, on all the batteries on a guy because I've got hundreds and hundreds of batteries and that's just uh, takes a lot of extra time. This is actually a lot simpler and get batteries in and out because I do a lot of testing. And I found that this particular pattern that I've put on most of my quads now are, are working out pretty good here. And let me just show you, this is the uh, Crook 110 that I just reviewed and you can see that I can just lift up one side here, slide one, one part of the battery in and then slide it over to the other side with the other this other band over here and it holds really really well and you're probably wondering well how do you get this on here and so I'm going to show you how to do that. So this is the rubber band that I'm using. It's pretty big. Um, I've got crap loads of these from the dollar store. They usually come in a sort and pack for like a buck and since it's so big I, I uh, have it doubled up so I just twist it and I double it up like this so I have enough tension. And I'm just going to show you on a frame that doesn't have any, on, anything on it because it's easier to do that. Obviously you probably want to do this without the props on. You can do it with the props on but it's a lot harder. Uh, it, it's a lot easier to do without the props on. Okay so this is the bottom. I'm going to slide the rubber band on here like so. And the way I do it is I would ha rather have this part uh, in this direction because the batteries are going to be going in this direction. So I'm going to grab the other side and I'm going to loop it around the arm and under like so. And that's the first part. So you got this this part here for the back part of the battery. And you probably want to stretch this out a bit here so that you have enough tension or you want enough tension here and then you have enough rubber band to get around to the other side. So you're going to pull on this quite a bit, get enough tension there. And then you're going to want to wrap that first part around this arm here, like so. So you can either twist it this way, or you can twist it the other way. But if you twist it this other way, then the, this band goes underneath and then this goes on top. You want, it to, you want this part to be on top because it's, it's going to be going in this direction eventually. So you're going to twist it and then you're going to put it on over here and then you're going to grab this. So now you got three of the four and you're going to have to pull on these so that you have enough slack. It is a, it is a bit fiddly to do. And then again you want to twist it so that this is going to be on top so it matches the other side. And then you pull this over and and then you have one over here and one over here. And you have, obviously you're going to want to you know, move this around so that you have pretty good tension so that not, not one part of the rubber band is going to be too tight versus another. And uh, then you, got, you should be able to have a pretty good uh, grip on your battery. The rubber band does grip the battery if, you have, if it's like you know, that sticker type or heat shrink type material. In addition, I usually put some sort of material on the uh, carbon itself. And we'll have it on, actually on this one here. It has some uh, sticky pad material here that also grips the battery as well so that with the tension of the, of the rubber band holding the battery on onto the sticky pad stuff here, the battery just doesn't slide around or move at all. So I just find this to be super easy to get my batteries in and out like so. And they hold pretty good. And additionally, it also holds the wires down here on the arms, or maybe in this case the EC wires. And then in this case on the Crook 110, I've got these motor wires here, and those are being held down by the rubber bands from the top. So that's just one way you could um, put a rubber band on here. You could also wrap one smaller one on this arm over here, like this way, and then on another one over here so you can get uh, at least two of these on one on each side. So. If you have two, it's better than one, obviously. It'll hold the battery, hold the battery better and safer. Anyway, guys, hope you found this little tip helpful. Let me know if you guys have any questions, and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.